Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, tonight we're going to be doing a fundamental video um, on this basic pulse motor, uh, which is just a simple um, 2N3005 transistor, full bridge rectifier, it's a little reed switch, and then the magnets on it and the coil. Um, so we're going to start off here with the circuit. So start off with the coil. Um, this is just made from a bolt or a nail. Like some of these are bolts, some of these are nails. So you could just cut the nail down and wind it. Um, this one is 18 gauge, but it should be quite a bit finer than that on the first one. So the coil right here on top. Um, so as we go down the circuit here, here's a reed switch and then a 1K resistor. And then here's our transistor. So uh, from the positive, we come through the coil, and then this leg comes right down to the metal part of the transistor, uh, which is the collector. And then this part actually goes um, right here on the base. So from the positive to the read switch through the resistor and connects right here and then this side um, ends up being the negative the emitter side goes back to the negative of the battery and then for your output um, on this one I use a full bridge rectifier so any of them will do um, this is it right here on the motor so you come right off the coil so on this one I connect it to the metal because this is coil right here so um, you can come off right here on one leg and then the other leg is coming off the positive input which is the other leg of the coil and then that's how you have your output and then it rectifies both sides and you actually get a little bit more output sometimes um, from the on and the off so what happens is when the coil uh, is moved the coil the, the magnets move um, it turns on this read switch which turns on the transistor and it fires and every time uh, the coil energizes it makes this magnetic field and then when you turn off the power it collapses and then you get a real high voltage spike that you could do work with which uh, regular motors just try to cancel out or diode out so pretty neat that you could actually get electricity from a simple motor like this so next on the list we're gonna have the the magnets so these are really cheap just ceramic magnets just like on here I just um, made a little rotor. This actually just spins on its bearings. The shaft doesn't even move. So let's move all this stuff out of the way. And then I could explain to you how it's going to run. So here's another shot of this basic circuit. So let's move this over. So. So right here on this read switch, what you want to do, this is the, the 1K resistor. So this is our common positive. So positive from the battery, positive to the coil, um, output from the coil to the bridge, and then supplies power um, to the read switch, which will turn on the transistor. Um, but what you want to do is you want to make some type of a adjustable timing so that you could adjust the speed and the direction of the motor um, this was the simplest way to do it and um, you could kind of adjust it down to use the mo least amount of power and um, using a light bulb so this is what you could do with some of the output um, LED 120 volt light bulb uh, I usually just put a little capacitor 250 volt capacitor at the bottom that kind of condenses the spikes um, to where the light bulb is, is brighter and um, isn't flickering so bad um, second one that most of you have seen. Um, this is a capacitor discharge circuit. This is the basic one. It's just a read switch and SCR. Uh, I gave um, schematics to that on a previous video. So we could charge this up with the output and then it dumps into the bigger battery. Um, this has to go into a second battery though. You can't try to put it back into this battery. It has to go in a separate one or it'll be a direct short and things will definitely melt or or break or blow up so you have to be really careful um, so let's hook this motor up so we're gonna do the capacitor discharge first so 
We're going to use the yellow as the negative, and or yellow as the positive, white as the negative for the output, and that goes right into here. So we'll be able to see that. So positive leg goes right here to this common positive, and then the negative leg comes right to here, and you can see it start to move. So we just give it a little kick. This is actually in repulsion mode, so the magnet kind of attracts in and then it pushes it away. So you just kind of get it going and then adjust this and then it takes off. You can see the amperage. And then over here you can see the output. So it's pulsing up about one and a half amps or so and we're using about 300 milliamps. Um, not the most efficient motor but um, great as a learning tool and um, the second thing we could do is uh, let's turn this off because you could damage the transistor if something's not hooked up to the output so we'll hook the output up to this light bulb now instead of that which is a really helpful tool for adjusting the, the timing so as we adjust the timing here, so that's a 120 volt LED light bulb. And we're just using 12 volts off the motor, so that's a pretty neat concept. So yeah, you just adjust this. And you can see that it gets brighter, but more amps. Or you could turn it down and it gets duller and less amps. So you could really kind of fine tune it this way. Get the speed at max. But you have to be careful because if you don't glue those magnets on real good, sometimes they go flying off. <laughs> so anyway, here's our basic basic pulse motor with output. Um, you can actually use a diode coming off here, and then the negative return goes to here. But it's it's just sometimes simpler just to use a full bridge. Um, and as I said before. You don't want to put it back into this battery. You want to go light or into a second battery. So I hope you enjoyed the video. It's our basic motor.